you know, we've been talking today that the temps could reach as much as 90 degrees out there. So when it tops out that high, it can really pose a danger for our furry friends. So for how you can keep them safe and what you need to watch out for, we're talking with Mike Palmer from Premier Pet Supply. Hey, Mike, thank you for being in studio. Thanks for having me. Good morning. You have all the goodies, and these ones can actually make a huge difference to keep our pets cool. Yeah, I think the things that are most important is things that you can do is making sure that, you know, you want to make sure the dogs get their exercise. Yeah. But taking very early morning walks or very late in the evening walks is just so hot during the day. Right. Feel the ground, feel the asphalt, and if it's hot to your touch, just know that their sensitive pads can even that makes sense. be more impactful. See, I think that. about that in the winter because of like salt on the ground, but sure. you're right. I don't think about that for the heat yeah. as we have well. To make sure they're protected all year round, for sure. So when we do want to keep them cool, let's say they're on the walk. And it's a little bit hot. Yeah. I'm assuming this could be really handy. Yeah, these are great. So, I mean, any type of travel bowl or travel bottle is great. A lot of these clip to your belt or you can, you know, oh, hang perfect. with you or over your shoulder. These are collapsible, which is great. So they don't take up a lot of space. You nice. can keep them in the car, keep them on you or in your pocket. And it's good if you have a water bottle yourself to keep these full. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Um, these draw, drew my attention. Sure. Because they, the flavors alone, this is great. Like, sorry, which one? Yeah, so those are uh, yogurt flavored, <gasps> or yeah, actually yogurt infused uh, fr or, um, frozen cups that the dogs oh. actually do really well and love. The peanut butter and bacon is really popular. There's the apple and also um, a lot of different flavors that incorporate things that they really like. But it's um, yogurt, so lactose okay. free and it's safe for them. So it's good well. for them. Yeah, for okay. sure. Okay. I um, also noticed these ones too. Like, you've yeah. got all the frozen treats so here. So keeping them cool, like at the house, is great. You can do things like frozen raw bones are fantastic. You can do bone broth and goat milk and make little ice cubes. You and the goat milk. You know, it's so healthy. Why? And it's great for them. It's good for digestion. It's oh, really, really good for overall health. Okay. Yeah. Alright. And the dogs love it. It's good for cats too. So you can make little ice cubes, a cute little bone and heart shaped ice cube Aww. trays and silicone mats are excellent. Okay. Question for you though. So like for something like this, you give it to your dog. It's obviously frozen. They start chewing on it. Yeah. It's going to warm up. Does it become a mess? No, so they actually right. are lapping it up and eating it as it's thawing. But I feel like sometimes it gets in on their, okay. like, we recommend Smell. maybe outside or on a oh. floor that's easily cleaned, you know, because it is raw and it's a raw product. So you want to treat it that way. Yeah, I'll but try it, negotiating with Zen. Hey, buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's not do on this the carpet. Over here, right? I would please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but honestly, it's not really okay. super messy, not okay. at all. Um, for outside, if you're okay. going to get them out there, these are really cool. We started carrying these this year. Oh, what are these? This is a collar you can put on them. And what's really oh. neat about this collar, it comes in four different sizes, is they have these little gel packs inside. And you throw this in the no freezer way. and you put this over their neck and okay. it keeps them cool for for up to a couple hours. So I'm just thinking, so I've got a harness on Zen, so that's mm -hmm. over his shoulders, yep. and then this can go right around his neck and it... Yeah, just over the collar is totally fine. I mean, okay. you put it on loose fitting, and then, you know, once it kind of loses its cooling, How long does it, it stay cool for? Up to, it says one to two hours in, you know, normal conditions. It's a little hotter outside for at least an hour in weather like this. Okay, so I'm not I'm not being funny, but I feel like, is it fashionable? Like, could the I human mean, it also, like... in, like, four different colors. Head and you starts can, hurting, you overheating. Can throw one over, you know, <laughs> it, could, it could work out right, well. right? not so bad. That's a great idea yeah. and then finally if you want to go all in yes. just put them in a pool that's right and you can just get a simple kitty pool from like the hardware store or Toys R Us doesn't exist anymore oh, it's sturdy those are simple somewhere where they can kind of soak or they can jump in and just cool down and cool off in the yard if they right. want to be out there with you but just keep in mind even the humidity can be a factor not just the heat watch them if they start panting they don't realize yes. how hot they are just yes. get them inside it really sometimes just isn't safe at all I'm paying attention to the tongue yeah. When I see his tongue kind of hanging out, right. I'm like, all right, it's time to pack I mean, in. they can't sweat, so it's the only way for them to kind of right. expel that heat is get that tongue out, and they start panting, and that can be a bad thing. Okay, last question. Can yep. humans eat this, or don't recommend? You can try it. I mean, I haven't yet, but okay. usually I do try some no, of the treats, not so bad. Oh, well, look at signs of heat stress. We're up there. Some good tips as well, like restlessness, um, you know, fatigue, those yes. kinds of things yeah, to watch out for. you got to be conscientious of all that stuff. Well, you always bring the goods. Thank, thank you, you so thank much, you. and always with the goat milk. Yeah. I love it. So uh, today, real quick, today's yes. the, it's the last day of our annual customer appreciation week, so stop in any of our stores, 30% off all of this oh, stuff. Oh, really? All treats and toys, 10% off all their food, and we Wait, carry everything. Wait, did you say everything. 32nd anniversary? 32 years I've been doing did this. Did you start as a child? My, my uncle opened the first store when oh, I was 16 years old. Really? So, yeah, it's been a long this time. This is why the customers keep coming back, though. I appreciate that. Yeah, that's awesome. 32 <laughs> years, you can check out, you got how many locations now? 13 throughout Metro Detroit. 13. Right. So you got to have one close to you if you're uh, watching. And how much, 30% off? 30% off all treats, toys, accessories, 10% off on food. All right, thank you so much, Mike. Thanks, Priya.